Ladies and gentlemen, you know, Donald Trump's legal team are still trying to challenge the vote and the judges are just becoming so frustrated with the team and the claims that they're making. So it's the same as it was before, but now it's different states looking at these claims and going, you know, what the hell is this? You know, they're still filing claims with no evidence just saying it's voter fraud, no proof attached to the claim, nothing. So this is November 16th, 2020. Judges appear increasingly frustrated with Trump's legal team about 2020 election. So this is ABC News. The recent scene in Clark County, Nevada has become increasingly common in courthouses around the country as President Donald Trump continues to push thinly supported allegations of election misconduct and fraud. When Republican lawyers in Nevada complain their observers were not close enough if they could not hear everything poll workers were saying, U.S. District Judge Andrew Gordon pushed back. At what point does this get ridiculous? This is what the judge is saying. <laughs> in a court hearing and opinions around the country, judges are voicing similar frustrations with the Trump campaign legal filings to a degree rarely seen in venues where political rhetoric is generally unwelcome, experts and courthouse veterans said. Judge after judge after judge has asked, in essence, where is the beef? Said Carl Resson, an attorney general of the District of Columbia and a frequent Trump critic in a call with reporters Friday. We have been, we have seen numerous instances where affidavits have been filed only to be immediately pulled back once tested in state and federal courts. And Trump's whose own lawsuit in connection with the president's Washington, D.C. hotel is on hold pending appeal. I would not be surprised if these baseless allegations continue Judges will begin to threaten and indeed issue sanctions. The Trump campaign and its supporters have filed at least 18 cases in battleground states targeted because the president trailed Democratic Joe Biden by a comparatively narrow margin. With rare exception, the Trump campaign has been losing in court regardless to whether the judge were appointed by Democrat or Republican presidents. The filings have only garnered two favorable rulings to date and numerous denials and dismissals. The campaign communications director, Tim Murtaugh, told ABC News that the president owes it to the 73 million people who voted for him to ensure that the election was fair and secure. And he also owes it to everyone who voted for Joe Biden. Every American deserves the peace of mind that our elections are sound. <sighs> wow, that's, I'm sorry, I'm not buying that. Tim, whatever. Um, nevertheless, several of those defeats have punctuated by sharply worded rebukes by judges on both political parties. So it doesn't matter if it's a Republican judge or Democrat judge, they are dragging Trump and his legal team. Even before the elections, judges were voicing skepticism about the Trump claims that the election would be undermined by fraud something the president asserted frequently on social media and at political rallies, but rarely actually documented. 
central to some of the plaintiff complaints is the convent is the um, I'm sorry is the contention that the upcoming election, both nationally and, and in Montana, will fall prey to widespread voter fraud. U.S. District Judge Dana L. Christensen in Helena, Montana. A Barack Obama appointee said in late September ruling against a Trump campaign filing to halt mail-in votes in the state. The evidence suggests, however, that this allegation specifically in Montana is a fiction. As the legal effort uh, grew following the election, judges appeared to grow increasingly agitated by the claims. In Michigan, Judge Cynthia Stevens questioned attorneys about a sworn affidavit that Republican attorneys had gathered in which a witness said they were told about mishandling of ballots. What I have at best is a hearsay affidavit, said Stevens, who was appointed by then Jennifer Granholm, a Democrat. I guess that was the governor. Uh, if there is something in that affidavit that would indicate that the witness observed activity that would be, um, you know, that was against any type of poll rules, I want you to please focus on my attention on that. I heard someone else say something. Tell me why that's not hearsay. Come on. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That was the Michigan judge. Uh -uh -uh. And it's pretty much the same thing being said in Pennsylvania. U.S. District Judge Paul Diamond, appointed by George W. Bush. I'm sorry, then what's your problem? Because <laughs> he's saying he don't see nothing. I mean, no one is, none of these judges are seeing anything. All right. And then a Republican judge saw this, another Republican judge, Timothy M. Kenny, said, where's the facts about that? So everybody is asking for proof and they're blocking the certification because it's just an empty claim with no proof. I mean, where did they think this was going to go? Man, this is a waste of money and time for real. That's all this is. Wow. Y'all, please tell me what you think. I guess Trump is going to keep this up until the bitter end. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.